I am in the forest, uh, very close to where I live. And um, today I'm going to build myself a little shelter here and uh, I'm going to prepare for a fire. I have brought some meat, some water, like uh, everything I need. And I'm going to sleep here for the night. But I haven't been uh, home here uh, in the neighborhood for some weeks now because I've been in Scotland, because I've been in Crete, because I've been faffing around everywhere. So now I thought I'm not just going out to uh, listen to these red deer. I have to like reconnect <laughs> with, uh, with the nature around me. What better way to do that than actually to camp here uh, for the night? So uh, yeah, let's get the little mini camp up and then after that let's go and listen to some red deers, hopefully. <laughs> My plan is not to photograph in this area, but to set the shelter up now where we have the light, prepare everything, and then leave here and go to the forest, which is a few kilometers from here, where I know that the red deers are. Um, so, at least they were the, there last year. So that was more or less the shelter. It's very fast made. So let's see. Yeah, it's easier to see here. The wind is like coming around in the forest from all direction. And no matter where I put the fire, there will be a lot of smoke. And I predict there'll be a lot of smoke because everything in here is just very damp. It has been raining a lot the last weeks. So, uh, by leaving this little gap in the bottom, inst uh, will instead of when the wind comes from behind the shelter, uh, from that direction, uh, the wind can actually come through down there and this way out, uh, instead of making a, a, a turbulence here, so the smoke will be in this area where I'm sitting. Yeah, I, I just need to unplug a little bit from uh, like the computer and the work and all the kind of stuff, sending books, uh, preparing my next uh, uh, exhibition, uh, all that kind of stuff. Just be out here surrounded by nature and the sound of nature and the smell and the temperatures and the wind hitting my face. It's absolutely awesome. And here will be the fire and we're going to build that right now. So uh, yeah, these branches here, even though they are hanging down and it's been raining, they are completely dry and they are dead. They are at the bottom of the pine trees. So these are the ones we are looking for. Give me a second to uh, collect some firewood uh, and branches, some stuff. And then, yeah, let's build that fire before it's getting too dark. So oh, now here, plenty uh, for for tonight and for tomorrow. I don't want to get out of the, of the sleeping bag tomorrow just to collect these. So uh, for now and for tomorrow. And these small little ones are for actually starting the fire. So yeah, we're going to put them in here because uh, you're not starting the fire yet. And uh, the small ones here we put not on the ground but on some sticks. Otherwise they will uh, suck the moisture. And this one we put on top. What I'm doing is instead of making small, nice pieces of wood like you would put in your fireplace, I'm making longer sticks. And that's kind of the, some of the fires that the Native American used because you take, they are just thicker than this one, but then you just put like three or four sticks together pointing in to the center. And then instead, instead of having to put more and more uh, firewood on, you can just put them in, I'll show you later. But uh, that's enough for like cooking, making water, uh, I'm going to going to instead of roasting a whole uh, leg 
um, from a deer. I'm just cutting off uh, small pieces of meat uh, and then uh, roasting them on sticks just to keep it small and, and it's more uh, efficient. I would say it's more, it saves more wood. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get the last thing done, pack the uh, photo bag and go and see if we can hear some red deer. Backpack is on and we are ready. So I better stop vlogging and uh, see you if I find some red deers. Otherwise, see you in the camp. So here we are in the area where the red deer might be. And um, of course, I don't know if they are here, but I feel they are here. Let's get ready before it's too late because it's, the sun is about to set. Look at these beautiful colors. And the binocular. We don't need the face mask for this. This is going to be very good. Let's go. I think I see some deer actually out in the field. Hold on. Two things can destroy it for me now. The first one is because the wind is circling around. If I put some power or some smoke up in the, in the air, you'll see it will go around like that. So the scent from me will make these animals disappear immediately. The second thing is if I'm stepping on one of these branches, that will maybe not scare the animals away immediately, but that'll make them extremely aware. So these two things, are not going to happen. One of them I have no control about, that's the smell, because no matter where I go here, they'll come around. Second one, I should be able to control that. Let's get in there and see. There might be eyes in here looking at me right now. So what I want to do is move slow, no quick movements, like not turning my head like this, but more turn it slowly, so no fast movements. Second thing is every time I have walked maybe 10 or 15 meter, I'm going to kneel down and sit for a while just to listen. Did you, no, you did not hear that. That was the sound of a stack with a whoop, that sound. Ooh. I like the three sounds in nature that I absolutely love. One is the stack, the deep roar. Second one is the raven, the sound of the raven is like bringing me back in time. And the third one is my absolute favorite is the wolf howling. I love the forest. Let's go out and see if we can get a glimpse.
just awesome. Now I want to see if I can get even further out to the edge of this forest. If we can just get to that spot. smell me or see me or something. They are not in a hurry. They're just silently walking away from here, but uh, I'm quite sure that they can, I don't know if it's my scent or they definitely know that there's something It's not as it should be. And they are totally right. I'm here and um, it's hunting season. So, uh, It's also getting really dark now. I'm on very high ISO. I think I was a little too late out, but uh, still, we got a glimpse. I got a one picture of a deer far, far away, but that was not what it's all about. Let's just get back and uh, yeah, let's get back to the camp, get that fire lit, make some dinner, and yeah, we can watch the little movie clip when we're having the, the fire, so yeah, I'll go back. See you back then. So, sorry, I can turn this away. So, can you see anything now? Everything is just as when we left it, nice and ready. So yeah. Now, let's turn off the light a little bit. Yeah, and let's see if we have enough. Let's see if we have enough uh, dry wood. Yeah, as you can see, I found some uh, stumps over there, and uh, I put them because the wind is picking up and it's quite a lot now <laughs> yeah
what an awesome afternoon I can just see the last embers from the fire and uh, everything is ready for tomorrow axe is here all the the uh, twigs we collected and just ready to fire uh, to light up the fire tomorrow I got a few pictures of the stacks nothing special just nice to be there no sound recordings like it was too windy but you know it's uh, how the trips are most I think just a good experience without any special pictures or anything else than just the experience and uh, <sighs> now I'm just really tired it was nice with a little meat some tea and uh, yeah time to say goodbye good night and then see you tomorrow Good morning. It has been such a windy night, but I've had a really good sleep. I might just get up, quickly make a small fire, make some tea, and then get out, because here is the shadow, and uh, out there is the sun, so uh, yeah. Let's uh, make the morning, let's make the morning tea, and uh, That's a lot of smoke. So much smoke here. Whoa! Ah. Isn't it just fantastic? Sitting here in the forest with a little fire and the shelter. And I mean, the beauty of it is that it takes like if you have want to make it simple, so you don't make your own shelters out there, it takes a, a tarp, it takes a, an old sleeping bag, a water bottle, an axe, a knife, uh, some skills to make a fire, and uh, then it's just awesome. Like imagine how nice it is that you, when you go to sleep, the last thing you hear before you close your eyes uh, are all these sounds of the birds, of nature, of the wind in the trees. The small, like, quirky sound of the trees, like... And, I mean, yeah, like, what more can you wish for than being in the forest with a little fire, having your camera in here, um, and, I mean, we didn't get any good pictures this time, we didn't get any sound recordings, but uh, a good, good night out in nature, and, uh, yeah, see you out there.